Happy New Year, beloved, and also we wish you a happy new month. What a great privilege to see the beginning of the year. God has seen us through the month of January, and to many people and to many believers, January is a month of consecration and covenant, making covenant with God and making decision on how your path will be in the course of the year. And what I want to see and assure you that every commitment and every dedication and everything you have told the Lord concerning this year that you have done last, last month of January, beloved, stand by it and make sure that those things come to reality. Thank God for yet another beautiful month. You are not in the month of February. And I want to quickly bring to your notice what God is set to do in your life in the course of this month of February. There are three specific things as directed by the Spirit of the Lord that the Lord is going to do concerning your life in the course of this month of February. And as we journey in the course of this month of February, be looking out for these three things. Because this is the promises and prophecy concerning what he is going to do. And he's too faithful to fail. And he will do every bit of what he has said concerning us in the course of this season. Number one, the Lord is set. The Lord is set to the Lord is, is set to set you up for favor. The Lord is set to set you up for favor in this month of February. There will be a unique favor that you have not experienced before that will be coming your way in the course of this month of February. Get ready and align yourself because God would like the God would definitely like a garment, it will clothe you with his favor. And everything that he has in store for you will come to reality. Number two, the Lord is set to set you on fire again. It is a month of revival, the reviving fire. It is the month of setting men and women on fire. There is an awakening that is coming to your spiritual life in the course of this season, in the course of this month of February. So be ready because God and put in order. You have seen the consecration, all what you have done in the month of January, in a setting aside, setting yourself aside in prayer and fasting. God is as he begin the month of February. He's promising that he's going to set you up on a fire, a fresh fire that you have not experienced before in a unique way. And number three, God is setting up himself, is focusing on honoring you in the course of this month of February. They said that there will be honor in all parts. Honor. He will honor the works of your hand. He will honor the labor of love. He will honor a lot of things concerning you this month. Don't forget three, three specific things that God is set to do. Number one, he is set to clothe you like a garment, with a garment of favor. Number two, he is set to set you on fire. And number three, he is focusing on honoring you this month. But today, quickly, in a few minutes we have, we are going to be praying and committing the month of February to God's hand. And today we are looking specifically the aspect of favor. The aspect of favor. What does favor? Favor means as receiving what you are not expected of. Receiving what you are not even entitled to. to. Receiving what is, not, is, is impossible to other people. You receiving those things at the frequency, at the frequency of the anointing of God that is upon you, and by the help and the mercy of God that is upon you. Like we look at like we look in the case of Mary. Mary was not the only woman. The only women, the only woman, or among it, she's not. There are other many, many women in Israel at that time. She was not only the the lady available. If you, if you talk about virginity, there are other women that are virgin in the land. But it's because of favor of the Lord, find her was the reason why she was be the one to bet our Savior Jesus. The mystery of favor is what that is beyond human understanding. Joseph was favored by God, and because of that, he began to move from one stage to another stage. He was favored at all times. Even the child Samuel, as the scripture says in the book before, in first Samuel, he said, and 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 Sam, and the child Samuel grew on in favor with God and favor with man. That is to tell, that is to tell, that is to tell that there are two dimensions of favor. There is have this favor, there is, there is having favor with God and also having favor with man. 
And the scripture also likely put it up and say, and the child Jesus grew in status, in faith, in, in wisdom, in grew in wisdom and in status, and he was in favor with God and favor with man. Now that, what that implies is that as we live on earth, until we receive favor from God, man cannot be of help to us. The favor we must seek for first is that, they, that we will find favor in the sight of God. And when Moses began to cry, he said, if I have found favor in your sight, until Moses found favor before God, he could not find favor before men. The favor with God comes first before the favor of men. And that is what you are crying to God at this time, today, in the next five minutes that we have, asking God for favor. Oh Lord, may you clothe me with your garment of favor. See, when the Lord clothes us with garment of favor, if that, if that garment of favor on us will compare men to favor us. It's like an aroma. It's like a spray. Someone does not spray, a, a, spray, a, a spray on his body and a perfume on his body. And because you are moving around, it begins to attract men and women to you. It is the favor of God that attract people that will bless you. You must have favor with God, then you're going to have favor with man. The favor of God comes first before that of man. And that's what I'm going to be crying to the Lord quickly this today and ask Him for the next two days. We're still, we're still going to do it. But based on these three things that God is said to do in the month of February, first of all, we are going to be praying for favor. And the next, next the following day, we'll be, we'll be praying, praying, asking God for that they, 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 to set us on fire as he has promised and totally we'll be making demand for the honor but when we get to this prayer point i will explain to you better the mystery of of, of fire of revival and also the mystery of setting you and focusing on you to honor you but today we are looking specifically the aspect of favor which is the most important part of, of our journey with god that we are favored by god and that will compare men as well to favor us. Quickly, you're going to open your mouth and begin to appreciate God for the gift of January, for the gift of February, and appreciate Him for His faithfulness and for His mercy who has brought us this far. Open your mouth and begin to watch because you will appreciate Him, give Him all the glory for the grace that has saw us through the month of January. And now we are in the month of February. What a great God! What a mercy that others have made available to us. Open your mouth and appreciate Him. Father, we give you all the praise. Thank you for the month of January. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for bringing us into the month of February. And you are set to do things in our life. Open your mouth and appreciate him. Open your mouth and give him all the praise. Because there is no like unto him. It has been God all the way. Look at what happened in the month of January. Here and there, the Lord saw us through. And now we are in the month of February. The month to be blessed and be favored of him. Open your mouth and begin to worship Him. How do I we worship Him? Kalina Supran, in and he la Pakadu. I could Sadina Sufraina to Prandi. That's who Sai, the Sali Kopaya. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise because there is none like you. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. Open your mouth and appreciate him because he is the Yahweh. Father will appreciate you because there is none like unto thee. Blessed be your name, Adonai. Now we want to open our mouth and begin to demand and ask, Oh Lord, may I find favor in your sight. You know, dear life, may I find favor in your sight. Until, until Esther found favor before God, he could not find favor before the king. It was appointed time that God had to favor him. That that favor can open your mouth and begin to make a demand. And so, oh Lord, I ask that your garment of favor will be upon me. May I find favor in your sight this month. In this month of February, Lord, I receive grace to be favored. Lord, may I find favor in your sight. 
And the scripture said, and the child Samuel grew on in favor with God and favor with man. Lord, oh, what I desired in this month of February is that your favor will be upon me. May I find favor in your sight. In the name of Jesus, may I find favor in your sight. May I find favor in your sight. May my family find favor in your sight. May my wife find favor in your sight. May my children find favor in your sight. May my colleagues find Find favor in your side. May my family elikan zupa itara na nakuwa zisupa eko peferete katilo zipuata kapi lakufe letedeta. May I find favor in your side, Lord. Clothe me like a garment. Oh Lord, with favor this month. That is the next prayer. Ask the Lord. Oh Lord, clothe me like a garment. And the king was speaking to them. Say, if the Lord do not help you. Who am I to be of help to you? If the Lord do not favor you, there is no one on earth that can favor you. That is why we make the man and say, Oh Lord, may I find favor in your sight. Clothe me with a garment of favor. In this month of February, Lord, clothe me with a garment of favor. Lord, clothe me with a garment of favor. In this month of February, clothe me with the garment of favor. Oh, I will not be disfavored this month. Mm. May Lord pray and ask the Lord. It is the favor of the Lord that makes a difference. Ah, Lord, I ask of you, o Lord, let your favor be upon me. A root found favor before Boax is to because the Lord have chosen to favor him at that time. Favor hard, sorry. Favor hard at that time. And she found favor before Boaz because he has already found favor before God. And when she took the step to follow Naomi was the point of taking the point of failure that she began the journey. Open your mouth and pray and ask the Lord. I say, Oh Lord, far favor. May my family far favor. May my office far favor. May my business far favor. May the works of my hand in this month of February. May it far favor. May it far. See, beloved, when the Lord, when you found favor before God. No man will you find it difficult to favor you when you find favor before God, it will compare me. I should say that it's like an arrow man that will compare men to favor you. If we find favor before God, it's like an a force of attraction that will attract me. It's not just it's not just by coincidence. It's because of that favor of the Lord that's upon Because you have found favor with God, it will compel men. It will attract men to favor you. I no pray you, oh Lord, in this month of February, oh what I ask is that Lord favor me, Lord favor me, clothe me with a garment of favor. Lord, clothe me with the garment of favor. Lord, clothe me with the garment of favor. Lord, clothe me with the garment of favor. Clothe my family with the garment of favor. If we found favor, favor has a lot of things attached. Favor is what that bring about protection. People with the point of bring about preservation and provision, sir. And this one, uh, you don't, I don't, you don't, you don't know. Some, 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 someone may at the time give me testimony say, I don't know what happened, but the Lord said I should give this to you. That is the favor compelling man. You see, you see, you see, people that will sacrifice their life to keep you protected. People that will sacrifice all they have to make sure that your family and your loved ones are preserved. Is that favor that of the Lord that is upon you that is compelling men to do that? When I cry out and act to say, Lord, I need your favor. I need your favor. In this month of February, I need your favor. Clothe me with your garment of favor. Oh, Lord. In this month of February, Lord, I ask, clothe me with the garment of favor. In the name of Jesus, let every strange spirit of this favoring every imposter walking around my life that has caused me to be this favor, that has caused me to be this favor. The spirit of favor is the spirit of acceptance. For you to be accepted when other people are rejected. 
rejected. It is the favor of the Lord that is upon you. One of them make a demand that, oh Lord, I receive the garment of favor. The garment of favor is the garment of acceptance. Is the garment of approval. Is the garment of of acceptance of where people are finding it difficult. I want to pray and say, Lord, today, in this month of February, oh, Lord, like a garment, clothe me with your favor. Like a garment, clothe me with favor. Clothe my family with favor. In the name of Jesus, clothe me with the garment of favor. Oh, Lord, Lord, that this month of February shall be different from every other month of my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. 2024, the February 2024, it shall be a month to be remembered by the reason of the favor of the Lord upon you. It shall be the month to be remembered. Open your mouth and pray. Father, I ask of you that your favor by the name of Jesus in February will be a month to be remembered. It shall be a month to be remembered. It shall be a month to be remembered. All my days, it shall be a month to be remembered. By the reason of your favor, the oil of favor. Like a garment, like an oil, it's coming upon you today. Oh, Lord. Let the oil of favor come upon me. Let the oil of acceptance, wherever I go, in your mercy, come upon me. In the name of Jesus, we love pray and ask the Lord. Pray and ask the Lord. Lord, let the garment of favor. By the reason of this oil coming upon you now, where you were rejected last month, January, you will not be rejected this month of February because the hand, the oil of the Lord is upon you and the garment of favor is upon you. Lastly, before we round up, we are going to pray. Oh Lord, let every garment of rejection over my life, family, and destiny be born to ashes. And now I replace that garment of rejection to the garment of favor. Open your mouth and make and make that demand now. Lord, I receive the garment of favor over the garment of rejection. Where I was rejected in last month, I will not be rejected this month. In Katusa Pelataya, thank you, Father. Thank you, Adonai. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, bless your redeemer. I want to tell you, beloved, the garment of shame has been taken off your life. The garment of rejection has been taken off your life. Because by the reason of this garment of favor that you have received, things will begin to turn around. This month of February will be a special month for you. And be a month that you will remember for good. The favor of the Lord will be tangibly proved and seen in your life. By the end of this month, you will testify that of the truth, the Lord has shown you favor. And if you have truly found favor in the sight of the Lord. Father, we want to appreciate you. Thank you for the oil of favor. Thank you for the garment of favor that you have released. Lord, that which you have in store for your children and for your people this month of February, let it begin to manifest. And let that which you have in store for us come to reality. We silence every works of darkness. And we declare that this wound, by the wreath, by the garment, and the oil of favor that is on us, we declare it fruitful. We declare it blessed. And we declare it a month of testimony. Thank you, Adonai. We rebuke the spirit of death. We rebuke the spirit of delay. Everything that you have destined for us, we take delivery and we take hold of them. Thank you, Father, because of answer. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, beloved, and remain blessed.